it's a detriment and sometimes it's a help. The 0 and 2 is in for a strike, a backwards K for Jayla Wright. She gets out of a jam. Louisville strands one, but puts one across the plate. They lead one nothing. There's Bucks, a sophomore from DeBerry, Florida. Pitch missing inside. And she did not go home. Oh, they're saying it hit her. Pardon me. Got her in the elbow. So home plate ump. Lexington, Massachusetts. Lays down the bunt. Frizzell applies the tag. Freelick with the sack bunt and advances. I mean, of bringing in a 19 and 10 record. Lizzie has moving across the diamond. Making an outstanding play. Vega will advance another 60 feet, but two outs now for the cards. And you never know what's going to get you started, right? It's a one, one game in the middle of the week or something that helps you kickstart your production. And Duke strands one with that pop out. Another transfer from Georgia State, same place that Daisy Hess transferred from. Freelick able to collect that ball and shot against Arizona in number 21. And this is smacked right up the middle. Vanessa Miller will make the turn. She'll stay at first base and a good single up the middle. Or up the. We thought something was was crazy, but she likes taking a lot of pitches. Very comfortable deep in counts. Three and zero to Alexander misses inside, and another walk. That's number thirteen on the season. Two and one to Goff. Swung on, sent to the left hand side. Trying to go for the double play, fakes the throw, but. Great play there by Anna Gold. Kind of about 60 miles west to Louisville. Swing and a miss. And another punch out for Jayla Wright. That's number four. So out, getting this first out, being able to find a way to throw a book here. And that was a really good, really good pitch. And <laughs> you know, it's the old adage, a good try, you know, it just didn't work out for a strike, but that's the right call and being able to try to at barrel the ball skills. Jammed on the inside, Zabala moves to her left, gets it over to Frizzell at first. Well, it's not a sack bunt. She does sacrifice herself. Trying footwork-wise, she's as far back as she can get. On that crossover, you see that foot come out in front of the box. Bailey Richardson gets that ball on a one hop. Brazil just tried to double pump there. Couldn't get the ball out of her glove fast. <laughs> Speed of miss, but that gets away from Kylie Goff. She gets the out at first. Well, and that's why Kylie Goff is here at Louisville. It's to give you those defensive plays to manage the pitchers. into the right hand side and a great play there by Vega. Payoff pitch is swung on and sent into center field. Making a fantastic play is Deanna Jennings who had a great read on that ball in shower, shallow center field. Hitters that are chasing that stuff that you're just putting in the dirt. I mean, it's just uncanny her ability 50% of your number is coming from your strength of schedule, which is baked back through the RPI. So strength of schedule is almost factored twice, and then opponent's opponent. So it can get really tricky. Do not envy the committee's work to go through that. Great play there by Allie Alexander. Bailey Richardson able to get the ball open. And that is the fourth batter that Zabala has played. Torres at first, Sarah Goddard, senior from Carmel, Indiana. Lays the bunt down, Bailey Richardson moving to her left, gets the ball to Allie Alexander, steps on first base. 
number three prospect in the nation coming out of high school for her class by extra inning softball. A swing and a miss and a huge punch out for Zabala in this series. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time. A little slow roller to left hand side. A little double pump by Anna Gold gets the ball over to Tapia at first for out number one to retire Gabby Holloway. The one and two catches the inside part of the plate and one and two swung on off the screen. Miller will stay at first. Miller will be thrown out at second base, so Alexander will come back to the plate in the bottom. I know that's a point of emphasis for this team this week is being able to cut down on those. Being able to keep the lead runner off has been key. A great leadoff hit there. Fighting average record for the Blue Devils at 462. Had 80 hits. Chopper back up to Zabala. She makes the throw over to Frizzell. Just payoff pitch to Gold. Little chopper in and on the hands. Alexander moving and talk about another stretch. Riley Frizzell. Looks like take a look and with the call being out on the field, I need to see that undisputable evidence. Another two and two to Davidson. Swung on and missed. And another punch out as Zabala seems to have Davidson's number. So oh, it's a well struck ball into center field. Chelsea Mack moves to her left, makes the grab. Three are stranded for Duke. No two and two is the count to Ali Alexander. Swings on this, and Wright continues to add to her total. That's eight on the day. He's in Duke, took games one and two. Louisville took game three, 13 to nine. You can see fairly evenly matched on the scoring between these two teams, 56 to 49, and that's another only run so far of tonight's game. Little chopper up the middle, Mac with a lot of speed, and how about that web gem? Off speed is sent into left field, giving chase. That'll stay fair. Garrity gets it into Alexander at second base line. And now it's Sarah Goddard looking to lay down that bunt. Goes to Zabala. Zabala over to Alexander for the put out. Out number one. Swings on this. Sky high into right center field. Moving well into right field is Chelsea Mack. To be had though. Found herself aboard. A great throw there by Kylie Goff. Is that this ball gets away from Goff? Zabala will apply the tag twice, and she is finally out. A great play there by Kylie Goff. She is to find a way to maybe challenge Jayla right here to field her position might be the best bet you have. Moving to her left. It's Jada Baker who gets the out at first, retires Paige Garrity. And that misses and Daisy Hess is aboard with the walk. And again, three walks for Jade that their benefit, but it's a tough task to do. That's a wild pitch, so Hess takes 60 feet, round second, and finds herself at third, safe. How about not only swiping 60, but an additional 60 on that wild pitch. Coming in, full count against Riley Frizzell. One out, base runner on third. You talk about some pressure. Yeah, that's a really hard thing to do, and you know, for a Lily Walker, I think Some runners at the corners for the cards. Holloway drives one up the middle. Hess will score. 
And Cards lead it 2 nothing with a single off the bat of Gabby Holloway. And that is a huge insurance run, absolutely huge. And credit to Holloway, she didn't even try to do too much at all. Stays in her hitting position, stays in her legs, and just gets a barrel on the ball. She hits so hard, generates so much power, enough speed to get that ball back up through the middle. Puts another one on the board here for Bailey Richardson. Over two on the day, a pair of those strikeouts lines out. Vega unable to make that throw, but makes a great catch. Let that pitch set you up for the next one. The 0 and 2 to Miller. Little check swing. She is out. That'll be a punch out for Lily Walker. Louisville strands two. Graduate student from Long Beach will find herself aboard with the walk. Potent. You have to be nervous about that. Only a matter of time. The bunt is down. Nothing can be done. And a great bunt there by Deanna Jennings. Get off batters. This is up and in on the hands. Goff under it. She'll make the grab. That's out number one. Runners will stay distance here for the cards. Lines up the left hand side off the glove of Richardson. One will score. And Jennings will stay at third as Duke cuts the lead in half. Yeah, and like we said, just a matter of time. Such a great plate presence. You can see she extends, able to barrel this up, keep it just inside the foul line, past the diving Richardson to plate Duke's first run of the game. And Swing and a miss, and that is a huge strikeout for Alyssa Zabala. In on the hands, and this will drop in shallow left field. Two will score, and Duke takes the lead. Off the bat, a Freelick. That's just a tough break. Freelick being able to find the green, and Zabala putting herself in a great position, but give credit to Freelick on this. Doesn't give up, gets handcuffed, barrel misses, but she muscles through on the handle of the bat with two outs and everybody on the move, able to plate two runs, and Duke takes their first lead of the game, three to two. Lauderdale, Florida. And another walk given by Zabala. Number four. It's a second. And with that, Goddard gets the walk. And this is a absolute moon ball, but under it is Paige Garrity. The bases will be left loaded. This is a well-struck ball into right center field. Maddie Grant will round first. And she is safe at second. Talk about a clutch pinch hit for Maddie Grant. First time facing Lily Walker here. Going to lay that bunt down. Talk about perfect execution there. Great. And a big back. Little chopper over to the left hand side. Jada Baker. Makes the final out of the game. Joanna, this game had a little bit of everything. It did, it had a lot of everything. And for Louisville, you gave yourself every opportunity against one of the best teams in the country to come away with a win, not being able to finish, take nothing away from Zabala. She was excellent and it won't be the last time this Duke team sees her. For Duke, you feel like you might've stolen one back here at the very end.